Hello, this is Mr. Ahmed and today we'll do lesson 13.2, the area. Our essential question is, how can you use formula to find the area of a rectangle? We used the formula in the past lesson to find the perimeter of rectangle and a square. And today we'll use this formula to find the area of the rectangle. Okay, so let's unlock the problem. The base B of a two-dimensional figure can be any side. So the base can be any side in the figure. And we have something called the height, H, is the measure of a perpendicular line segment from the base to the top of the figure. And remember that the perpendicular lines or the perpendicular line segments form right angles. So for example, this side and this side are perpendicular. These two sides are perpendicular. So I can call one of them is the base P and the other one will be the height H. So here, if this is the base, what is perpendicular to it? We have this one. So this one will be the height or also this one may be the height. Here, if this is the base, so what is perpendicular to it? This side, so the length of this side is the height. Here, if this is the base, so what is perpendicular to it is this side. So this side will be the height. The length of it will be the height. So now we know the base and the height. So how do you find the area? So the area is the number of square units needed to cover a flat surface without gaps or overlaps. A square unit is a square that is one unit long and one unit wide. To find the area of a figure, count the number of square units inside the figure. So a square unit is like this. It's a square. Each side of it is one unit. This unit may be centimeter. So this is one centimeter by one centimeter a square whose side length is one centimeter we call it a square centimeter if this is one meter by one meter we call it a square meter if this is for example one yard by one yard we call it square yard and so on so the area is the number of squares inside the figure and the perimeter, if you remember, it was the length around the figure. So the perimeter is the length around the figure and the area is the number of squares inside the figure. So let's complete this table to find the area. Here we have the figure, here the base, here's the height, and here we will find the area. So here the base, if you see the base is any side, here he chose the five so it means one two three four five so he chose the one down so the height must be the one up so if we count it will be one two three we have three units as a height and for the area we will count the number of squares so one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen so we have fifteen square units okay here the base for example, if this is the base it will be one two three four five six seven eight eight units and the height what is perpendicular to it is this side which has one two units okay what is the area we'll count the number of squares these are eight and eight which is 16 square units okay the third figure here, if this is the base, it has one, two, three units. Okay, and the height will be perpendicular to it. So this will be the height, which has one, two, three 
units. And the area, the number of squares inside, we have three, six, nine square units. Okay, and here we will figure something. Here we have 15 as an area, which it comes from five, multiply three. And here also we got 16 as an area, which comes from eight, multiply two. And here also we have nine as an area, which it comes from three, multiply three. So we notice something here. If we multiply the base with the height, we get the area. So the area equals base times height. So the area of rectangle is base times height. So here he asks, what relationship do you see among the base, height, and area? We can say that the area equals to the product of the base and the height. So if I multiply the base with the height, I get the area. Number two, write a formula for the area of a rectangle. Use letter A for area, and letter B for base, and use letter H for height. So here we said the area equals two. So I write A and instead of area, and then equals two, the product of the base and the height. So base, which is B, times height, which is H. So we got our formula here. A equal B times H, which is area equal base times height. So here, this is the formula that we got. You can use the formula to find the area, which is A stands for area, B stands for base, H stands for height. So if you have any rectangle, you can use the base and the height to get the area by multiplying them. Okay, here, let's see some examples. Use a formula to find the area of a rectangle and a square. Okay, so here we have a rectangle whose base is 6 feet and its height is 2 feet or the opposite. The base may be 2 feet and the height may be the 6 feet. Whatever you have the right angle, these are your two dimensions. And one of them is the base and the other is the height. So here the area equal base times the height, B times H. So I can say 6 multiply 2 which is 12. So the area is 12 square feet. And here we have a square which has a side length of two meters. So the area equal base times height. So the base and height here are two. So two multiply two is four. So the area is four square feet. Here, write a formula for the area of a square. Okay, so we know that the square is actually a rectangle, but all of the sides are equal. At the square, we can also say base times height, but because of the base and the height are the same, we can use the same letter for them. So here we will use the letter A for area and we will use the letter S for the length of a side. So here A is area equals to the base and the height are the same. Each one of them equals S. So I can make it the base S and the height also S. 
So a equal s times s. So the area of a square is the side length times itself. The area of a square equals the side length times itself. Okay, so let's go for share and show. Find the area of the rectangle. So the area of the rectangle is P times P times H, base times height. So the base and height are 11 and 13. So I multiply the 11 by 13. Let's multiply here 13 by 11. You remember if we are multiplying by two digits, we'll multiply the 13 by the first digit, which is one. So one times three is three, one times one is one. Then in step number two, we have to write zero and we'll multiply the other digit. So here one times three is three, one times one is one. Then I add the two answers. I got three, 1 plus 3, 4, and then 1. So it's 143 square centimeters. Here, find the area of the rectangle or square. So our formulas are, for the rectangle, we have A equal P times H. For the square, A equal S times S. Here we have a rectangle. So, the area equals base times height, which is equal to 7 multiplied 2. This is the base, this is the height. So, 7 multiplied 2 equals to 14 square inch. And this is a square, so the area of a square equals s times s the side times itself so it's a nine times nine which is 81 square meters and here we have a rectangle its area equals base times height so suppose this is the base this will be the height so eight times 14 which is equal to, let's multiply the 14 by 8. 4 times 8 is 32. I write 2 and 3 up. 8 times 1 is 8 plus 3 is 11. So it's 112 square feet. So the lesson is very simple. If you have a rectangle, multiply. The base and height, if you have a square, multiply the side by itself. Hope you guys enjoyed the lesson. And now it's your turn to solve on your own questions. And if you are in my class, we will discuss the lesson on the live session. Have a nice day. Goodbye.